During September, I was poignantly reminded of the value of spending time with Mother Nature away from the big cities. So many inspirational human beings have constantly reminded us how important it is to retreat into the natural world and absorb the healing energy that only Mother Nature can provide. It has only been in the past three years that I have actually lived in a bigger city. When a more typical Being Empowered episode was not showing up in Moal Ball, I just kept plugging back into the natural world, the beautiful ocean, and the jungle-covered mountains. The magical wonders that lie just beneath the surface of the ocean continue to fill my soul with peace and tranquility. And it was on an evening ride up into the mountains that I came upon an idyllic setting in a small community called Abalanga. Of all the adventures I have had in my world travels, I can safely say that one of my favorite experiences is when I'm on my bicycle and I meander into a small provincial community. As I have stated before, I usually connect with the kids first and then after that, make some heartfelt connection with the souls that live there in the community. I'm oftentimes surprised at what I find, and in this case, I was taken aback to find a small Sari Sari store serving delicious milk teas and complete with a karaoke bar. So, do you like living up here? Yes. Why? Uh, fresh air and nasa diri ang amuang kuan kanang peaceful. Yeah. So people in the community? Yeah. They like? Go there. They like. They like. Mm. So is when is it most crowded? What's the biggest crowd you've had? Weekend. The weekend. Like yeah. how many people here? Twenties? Really? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'm a mother of one. And what's her name? Uh Shelu Louise. And is she the most gorgeous, beautiful baby in the whole I world? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we met in Taiwan. I was working in Taiwan po, um, as a factory worker then. So he was working in, in Taiwan. Taiwan. You met there. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you guys are apart? Yes. Okay. Sad. No, no, no. no not so. Okay. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I can tell you every single Filipino mom I've talked to always says, it's okay. Yeah. Strong. Filipino single mom is very strong. Very okay. strong. Yeah. And I'm one of them. Yes, uh, I'm proud of it. <laughs> well, well, you're a good mom. You have a great kid. She's yeah. wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so photogenic. Do you uh, do you want to have another relationship? No. No. I'm. You're done with my men. My daughter is enough. You're done with men. I have a I have a friend in Mexico, and she says. No boyfriend, no husband, no problems. Yes, true. <laughs> what are what are your dreams for your daughter when when she gets older? She can finish her studies. My biggest dream as a mother. And the next thing you know, you'll be a Lola. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm old. Well, uh, it happens. It happens to all of us. Yes. Has he? Have you lived here your whole life? Since birth, Since birth. Oh my gosh, 1963, <laughs> he was born. Uh, do you like living up here? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> you to stay here, it's a very nice view. It's a beautiful view. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Island. 
<laughs> Bandan Island. Oh, that's Bandan Island. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been married? Uh, 1978. Oh my gosh. 1978. That's a long time. So 45. Yes. Years. Wow. This is his granddaughter? Apo. Oh, yeah, granddaughter. Your granddaughter. Okay. <laughs> But let's take a moment to dive into the Filipino world of karaoke, which is often called videoke. The world of karaoke in the Philippines is epic in its scope. It actually borders on a religious process for these people. I can certainly tell you that as cultural Catholics, these folks are much more dedicated to their karaoke than maybe getting to mass on Sunday. There is something about the singing process that is deeply comforting to them and also healing. So you have seen the bars and the live bands and you sing the video okay. Everything what you want to see here, just watch. <laughs> is very significant to the Filipino people. If you have uh, any celebration, you will rent a video. Okay? Filipino is very fond of karaoke. Do you know that, Teacher Marco? Oh, I do know that. I've been here six months. Believe me, I know that. Uh, after you work, you're gonna jump with your friends, your two friends. So what happens in your heart and soul when you sing? I'm so happy where almost everyone loves to sing. Even if not everyone has uh, a voice to sing, they love singing. It's, it's a culture. Filipinos are very social. Video key is our way of bonding with our family and friends. So maybe it's a result of years of colonialization. Hardship. They say that we are the uh, Asian counterparts of the African Americans. Wow. African Americans love singing. Now, I personally think that singing had been a, a great outlet for African Americans to release their frustrations, their the feelings that they had uh, years before, way back. And that is also the same with the Filipinos. It's a very safe outlet to release negative and positive feelings. When I sing, my my heart feels that um, I'm sorry, but uh, but I've got so emotional today because I've just got broken heart that last night. Oh, but you're here so, singing. Yes, yes, yes. And it that, helps. That is why it helps me in singing. There's something about singing that, that makes you powerful. It gives you that freedom to express things that you cannot express normally. So yeah. When you sing, you're able to tell stories, tell uh, heartaches that you can actually not never tell on a normal basis, on a, on a regular day. So even on a provincial mountaintop, the karaoke video key tradition continues generation after generation in the Philippines. provincial community tucked away in the palm-covered mountains on the south end of Cebu Island, the people revel in a simple life that is serene and peaceful. It may border on poverty at times and also hair-raising dangerous situations such as the Typhoon Odette in 2022, but they wouldn't trade it for the world.
Some have lived here their whole lives, not strained, but just a few miles from their home. Of course, a majority of the younger people do realize they need to move to the cities to earn more income. And for me, this is very sad because oftentimes the young folks are not prepared for the bells and whistles of the big city. But I also will share that life in the province is far from perfect. Alcohol and other detrimental behaviors are still present. But ever present is the absolute commitment and dedication and the pure enjoyment of family. The only thing I can conclude is that every time I retreat into mother nature and get away from the bright lights and sounds of my spirit seems to pause, rest, and rejuvenate. For 2023, the inspirational message from Being in Power is to get out of the city and recapture that mystical part of your soul. Ha 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 